All right. Okay, what can we do with this thing? What can we possibly... Anyone want to suggest? Like, what can I... um? What can I try? Anyone want to give me a suggestion? Okay, now, be super careful. I've, I've written this... Um, Letter. I was going to say letter for letter, but it's not just letters, it's characters as well, okay? Character for character. Brackets kind of make a difference, right? They kind of make a big difference, actually. Now, what you're probably thinking of, what you're probably thinking of is this scenario, right? This is the power law. Now, what's happening here is that square, what's being squared in this scenario here? Okay. It's just that A. In fact, really, there should be brackets there just to make it super obvious, okay? Whereas here, I am not squaring just the two. I'm squaring the whole thing, okay? So you can't just bring that two out the front, okay? Any more than you can say, oh yeah, x squared. That's definitely 2x. You can't just say, I, un unless x is 2, okay? So, so I can't do that. That's a different kind of scenario, right? So what else could I do? Can do you, I have any can options? Can multiply yeah. the two by the squared? Uh, multiply this two yeah. by this squared. Okay, let's think about what this means, right? If I just pedal back a second, right? Log two or square, when you when you have something and it's square, what does squaring mean? Multiply by itself. Yeah, multiply by itself, right? So it's just log two times log two. That's what it really means, okay? Now log two times log two, when you multiply those things, is that is that really like log four? Is it? Mm. No. It's not, is it? Okay? You might be thinking of this. That is log 4, but uh, nope, that's not what we're doing. We're multiplying them, okay? So therefore, these, these current steps, they're, they're no good, right? So what else could I possibly do here? What options do I have? Hmm. Say it again. <laughs> Put it into the calculator, okay? Now, you go ahead, you just go ahead. You've got calculators, give it a shot, see what happens. I'd like you to try it. Zero point zero nine. It's something, something quite. You, you, I'll let everyone have a chance. Yeah, to when, when multiplying, you add no. what? When I'm totally confused. I think you're doing things in reverse. You are confusing this, right? And uh, it's not, it's not that bad. I'm glad you're giving it a shot. That's more I can say for everyone else. Um, when you multiply numbers with an in index form, right, exponentials, that's when you add. Right? So can I say here, what are the, d the dangers of, we're learning logs, you know, which is kind of cool, okay? But you can confuse a function with its inverse. Right? It's like, wait, which one is adding turns into multiplying and which one's the other way around? You're thinking about the other way around. Because when you multiply these, you add. But when you, what's the numbers I want to choose? Um, when you add logs, oops, that's when you multiply, okay? Which, by the way, is a bit of a tip, because I am adding logs, aren't I? I'm adding logs here, right? <coughs> I got this, and bless you, this, and this. What can I do here? What can I do? I can do some. I can do some multiplication, right? But what kind of multiplication can I even do here? Yeah. Um, if you multiply log two with log two, you'll get log two to the power of two because you add the those powers. No, I don't. No, I don't. Because I'm not. I'm not adding the logs, I'm multiplying them. Oh. In fact, I don't really have, I, I'll tell you right now, I don't have a law for what happens when you just multiply these logs, okay? So, what else can I do? So, uh, hmm. everything has a base of 10, right? Uh, now, I'll make this mention, I, I wrote it down on the side there. <coughs> when a log doesn't have a base attached to it, right, when it's written like this, um, you guys have the unenviable dilemma of seeing in a position where it's like, well, you know what? you kind of don't necessarily know what they mean, okay? Um, for example, on your calculator, I've already told you what log without a base means. It means base 10, okay? But if you go into two unit next year, which I hope a lot of you will, those textbooks, when they write this, they do not mean base 10. They're like, I'm a mathematician, you know, go away. I want base E, that's the important base, right? Um, here, I don't know. And part of the point is that it's immaterial to the question. Okay, and why um, people who've been just punching into their calculators have not been getting the answer that is expected. So if it was base, then you can just like multiply the squares. Uh, yes, you could, except I'm not. Okay. All right, let me let me rewind a little. Let me rewind. We're, we've been running up against the brick wall at the moment. Okay, and that's not a bad thing. 
That's not a bad thing. You know, Thomas Edison, he said, you know, um, you've made 10,000 light bulbs that haven't worked. Right? Why do you keep trying? It's like, eh, it's not failures. They're just, I know now the ways that I don't need to try. And that opens up, like, now I know which directions I should go in. Okay? What other kinds of tools? Like, you've exhausted, you really have exhausted your log laws here, right? What else could you possibly do? Uh, I could try a change of base law, except for not knowing what the base is, okay? Let, let me suggest to you humbly this, okay? Uh, when you see something like this, you know what to do, don't you? Like, you look at that and you think, oh, okay, this is a quadratic, because things are squared, right? Okay, now, you look at this, right? I see things are squared. I don't get anywhere obvious when I try my log law manipulation. Because you're not supposed to do log law manipulation, at least not yet, okay? This is something squared. I'll give you a bit of a clue, right? There is something in here, right? This log 2 squared, okay? Log 4, I can turn that into something like log 2, right? Is it not log 2 squared? Isn't it? Now, that's a power I can do something with. I can move that guy, right? That's going to be, in fact, 2 log 2. Do you, do you agree with that? Yeah. That's what log 4 is times log 5 plus log 5 all squared. Okay, you right with that? Okay, now I want you to look at that really carefully. Look at that really, really carefully. I know that there's logs in there making this messy, but if I wrote this instead, you would recognize that, wouldn't you? Come on, we spent weeks on quadratics, right? That is a perfect square. That's why we had to do completing the square, blah, 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 blah. Something squared, something else squared, double the product of each. Tell me what to write. Tell me what to write. Does this not look like, if it's a squared plus 2ab plus b squared, this is a plus b all squared. You okay with that? Yes? So how, how a plus B all square. How do you find out whether it's a perfect square or not? Because it looks like this. This by definition is how a perfect square will be. Okay? If I see if I see x squared plus 2x plus 1, right? Because of my work in quadratics, I say, I know what that is, that's x plus 1 all squared. Okay? And this is exactly the same, it's just a bit of a mess. Okay? Yeah. So this is my a, this a squared. This is my 2ab, and this is my b squared. So this looks to me like log 2a plus b squared, right? Okay, now you remember I said before, oh, you don't know. You don't really know. When it does get written for you here, clearly, because remember I told you guys, you're not really supposed to know what e is, right? So therefore your assumption is 10. When you add numbers with the same base, because no base is written with the same base, what happens? You times. Right? Log 10 oh, squared. It's and it's clearly base 10, right? So this is log base 10 of 10, which is 1 squared, which is 1. 